Hi, this is Cindy and we're going to talk today about how to create a pocket door. Um, I just want to open up a regular door um, in the families and kind of point out some of the components that we're going to be creating. So under families I'm just going to select open. Um, I'm able to look at this dialog box and select doors and I'm just going to select kind of a standard um, door here just so that we can look at that and I can point out um, some of these elements. So I'm just going to select a single flush door and select open. So when we're looking at that from the um, front, um, look at these elevations here on the left and open up our front view. You can see that it gives um, the swing of the door here and it has some symbolic lines to indicate which way the swing is going. There's some trim that's located um, on the door and there's some size indications with the trim height and uh, for the door and the width is located in plan view. And when we look at the plan view here, um, you'll, you'll see a couple of different things. So this panel extrusion that you see here was the panel that we saw when we were looking at the door from the front um, versus these lines over here are symbolic lines again. And so the difference between these, these various components is that this panel extrusion will show up in 3Ds um, and in elevations when you're looking at the door. This um, particular symbol over here, so these symbolic lines that are showing the swing of the door and this here will only show up when you are looking at um, the plan view and this extrusion will not show up. And that has to do with the visibility settings. So when I select my extrusion here and I look at the visibility settings um, up on our mode panel. You can see that in plan and when cut in plan, reflected ceiling plan, that it does not show up. However, it does show up in the front and back, left and right. Um, when I go back and look at my door, um, again from the front, you'll notice those components that we could see. I mentioned the trim and the actual door panel itself. When I hover here, you see that I get the panel extrusion. And as I tab through it, um, I have the frame mullion. And then the third element that I have here is the opening cut. Now this opening cut um, allows so that when I place the door it's going to cut a hole in my wall that I'm placing it in. If I select that opening cut, um, you'll notice here that it says that it's transparent um, in 3D and in elevation. And what that means is if um, I'm showing that in 3D or elevation it's going to show um, my door panel that's there rather than um, just cutting through that. If I wanted to be able to see something that was beyond this opening cut um, in the in the next room and I didn't have the extrusion in the way, like let's say this is just a doorway, um, then I want to make sure that, that it is um, this elevation um, in the green bar there is checked and in 3D. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a pocket door um, as this is a door that is not currently loaded in Revit, but is certainly a door that um, you will be using. So I'm just going to go New Family, and I'm going to select Door. And when you're looking at this, you always want to set up the door for what kind of a wall you're working with. So if you're creating um, you know, this particular wall here, when you look at the type and you go to Edit Type and the Structure, it's a 6-inch wall. And you can leave it as a six inch wall, but when you go to put a door into a specific project, you want to change what this wall thickness is. Um, it has a big impact on how the frame will react, especially if you have some framing that is a little bit more complicated or trim that is more complicated with the door. For now, I'm just going to leave it as the six inch. Um, when I look at the door again from my interior view, I'm just going to leave on the frame as it is right now because again that frame is just an extrusion and I'll show you some examples um, of fancier trim um, in another door um, tutorial. This one we just want to focus on being able to make the pocket door. So again here we have the um, door opening uh, when I scroll through the various things that are located here. I have basic wall, my extrusion, and then I have the opening, the opening cut. And for a pocket door, you want to be able to show that pocket door um, you know, as being recessed into the wall here and showing that wall cavity that's going in here. 
Um, the only way to do that is with a void, and uh, with this program you're not allowed to have a cut and a void. You can only have voids together. So when I look at this from the interior, I need to find that opening cut. So I'm going to just tab through until I get opening cut, and I'm going to delete it. And instead, I'm going to replace that with a void. So on my home screen, I'm going to select void extrusion. And I'm going to make it the um, same size as my opening here. And hitting check. And then I'm looking to look at that from the front and see where my void is and I don't have that quite going all the way through the wall so I'm just going to change that so I have it going all the way through the wall there. Now and you can see that it's orange so it's currently not cutting my wall so if I select cut geometry I select my void and then my wall you can see that it's now cutting through my wall and um, it has disappeared but if I hover over here I can still see it. This allows me to then place another um, void form over here for the pocket where my um, pocket door would go. And if I was had a uh, three foot pocket door, I would want to make that opening three foot three, um, approximately like that, and three inches wide. Um, and you can see that that is like that, and then I'm going to make that seven feet tall because that is the height of my door. I'm going to hit check, and again, it's orange. It's not cutting through my wall so I'm just going to select it and then my wall and now you can see that I have um, a nice cutout through my wall there that I can place um, this is starting to look like a pocket door should look from the top so on a pocket door um, you can show that both being closed because you that's how it would look when you were looking at it in 3d um, and so if I'm looking at that again from my interior view and I'm gonna go ahead and make a solid extrusion this time and I'm going to make a door for my opening here. And I'm going to make my door um, two inches thick and hit check. Um, when I look at that from the reference level, I just want to move that back um, so that it is centered in my opening. I'm just going to have to uncheck constrain and check disjoin in order to do that. Okay. So this is what that looks like from the top, and that's my extrusion panel. That's the solid panel of door that you would see if you're looking at an elevation or a 3D. I don't want that to appear in my plan view because that looks like the door is closed. That doesn't look like an appropriate symbol for a door in plan view. So I'm going to select that, check my visib visibility settings, and I'm going to uncheck plan and when cut and plan and say OK. OK. But what I am going to do here is I'm going to create um, some model lines that will serve as showing what that door would look like in our plan view. And what I typically do for a um, pocket door is I like to just show that partially open. So you can see that I've drawn a rectangle here again um, that is two inches by three feet and I'm just going to select those um, model lines here. Um, and this is doors projection um, because it's the door itself. I could also say doors cut. So this is what the door looks like when cut. I'm going to change my visibility settings so those lines don't appear in my elevation view or my 3D view. Um, not that it would matter too much. But I only want it to appear in plan. Um, so I'm just going to have that only appear in plan and when cut in plan and say OK. So there you can see I have my um, various components that I would need to have for a pocket door. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and save that then in my families folder. And I'm able to load it into my project. Thanks.